Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the important coding slash DSC questions for TCS interview. This is again a one shot video in which I will be discussing around 10 to 15 DSC questions that you must know before going to TCS digital or TCS prime interviews. Guys, previously also on my channel, I have made lot of one shot videos regarding Java interview questions, DBMS interview questions, as well as Python interview questions. You have given me a tremendous response on this. Kindly hit the like button and subscribe button for this video also because it gives me a lot of motivation for making such videos. Okay, this is a TCS NQT series that is going on from this month onwards and there are a lot of interviews that will be happening from next week. We will continuously make interview experiences for those interviews also. So make sure that you are present on this channel and, are, and you are hitting the subscribe button so that you can get the notification of the future videos. Okay, and guys, one more thing, we are taking mock interviews for TCS Digital, TCS Ninja, TCS Prime. All these profiles, we are taking mock interviews. The slots are very limited, so make sure to book your slot now. If you're not confident about your uh, interview, so we will take your interview and we will tell you that where you can improve and what are your strengths. Okay, so till now, we have taken total 231 mock interviews and the slots are also very limited, so make sure that you book your slot as soon as possible. All the links are in the description box. So guys, now let's start this video and before starting the video, please hit that like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Okay, so guys, let's start with the video. I will be discussing every question, but I will not be showing you the code. I will give you the links of these questions. So let's just start the video. So first thing is that prepare all sorting algorithms with code and time complexity. There are total five sorting algorithms bubble sort, selection sort, insertion sort, merge sort and quick sort. There is a very common question that is asked in an interview that is what is the difference between merge sort and quick sort. Explain with the help of time complexity as well as with the help of code. So many of the, of the times you know that these questions are important but you skip these questions. But do not skip any of these sorting algorithms and do learn their time complexity. What is the best case time complexity? What is the worst case time complexity? And what is the uh, average case time complexity for each of these algorithms. It is very important. See, in TCS interview, they won't ask you to write entire code, entire code end to end. They will just ask you to write pseudo codes on a piece of paper and dry run them. Okay, so th this is important thing. End to end codes not will not be required. Just the pseudo codes on paper will be required and you will be asked to dry run these codes. Okay, so I hope this question is clear to you. Do not miss these algorithms. These are, these are very important. All the sorting algorithms. Now, the next question is similar. Prepare all searching algorithms with code and time complexity. There are only two sort uh, searching algorithms, linear search and binary search with their best, worst and average time complexities. You will have to learn their code. Again, pseudo code will be required. Next is, next question is, write a program to find square root of a number. So this is a star question. Why I have marked it as a star? Because this question was asked in 2024 prime interview okay for prime interview that happened in January and February so at that time this question was asked write a program to find the square root of a number so what is this, this question it is very simple as the name suggests so if we have 16 then we will uh, the uh, input is 16 so we have to find the square root of a number the so answer will be 4 it's a very simple question but how will you do it it's uh, it's done using uh, binary search or you can uh, use recursion also using binary search and or you can use recursion also. So any approach that is suitable to you, you can use that approach. Again, I won't be able to uh, give you the entire code, write the code because the video then will become very long. But I will just give you the gist of the question and like link where to uh, where you can find the answer for this question. Okay, so you can use this binary search algorithm here or recursion you can use. Okay, so I hope this question is clear to you. This was asked in uh, January or February 2024 only in the prime interview. Okay. Next, moving ahead to the next question. Next question is count the number of occurrences of each character in a given string. So in ev in every other ninja or digital or prime interview, this question can be asked. It's very important. This question is again very much important. See, now what is this suggest number of occurrences of each character in a given string. So let's suppose you have a current string as code bashers okay this is your current string so how many times c is coming c is coming one time how many times o is coming so o is again coming one time how many times d is coming so d is also coming one time next is how many times e is coming so e is coming two times 
E and E. Okay. Similarly, how many times B is coming? It is one time. A is coming again one time. S again one time. So you will have you will be given a string as an input here, and you will have to print the occurrence of each character in the given string. So like this, you will print C one, O one, D one, or E two. How many characters and how many times they are occurring? Again, it's a very easy question. Is in this we can use hash map approach. Simple simple hash map approach we can use. so try to practice this again this is the link for this uh, entire solution but try to first practice yourself and then go towards this solution okay next question moving next uh, to next question is sort an array containing 0 1 and 2 what is the question you will be given an input array that will be uh, consisting only zeros ones or twos let's suppose this is our input array 2 1 0 1 2 this is our input array so what is the output array they will be expecting it uh, this entire array should be sorted in ascending order such that zeros come first then comes one then comes two so this is our output array okay so this is the question again it's very commonly asked in tcs interviews or any other uh, interviews also so what approach you can follow here one simple approach is to follow the boot uh, what is uh, what is that it is the uh, naive approach to follow that is you just use the loops you just use the variables and do these things but another thing is that you here two pointer approach will be used in the uh, in improving the time complexity first you can use brute force approach in that the interviewer can ask you to uh, do this uh, answer in a less complex way so there then two pointer approach can be used to do this in a single traversal of the array okay so you will get this result so i hope this question is also clear again before was watching towards the solution do do go and practice yourself this sort colors this is the name of this question sort colors and that is sort an array containing 0 1 and 2s so guys if you are uh, feeling that this video is useful to you till now please hit that like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel and do book your slot for mock interviews if you are not feeling confident about your interview actual interview i know many of you will be having the, the actual interview for the first time so you may be nervous then we can help you by taking your mock interviews and telling you that in which areas you can improve and what are your strengths so do book these slots all the links are in the description box and do hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel okay so now moving ahead to the next question is find the maximum sum sub array so it is very famously known as cadans algorithm so let's suppose we have an array let's just assume simple array is there 1 minus 2 3 4 now maximum sum sub array so first of all what is a sub array so sub array is the let's see this is a sub array this is a sub array this is a sub array if you will look closely then the contiguous members of an array constitutes a sub array this one is alone also a sub array this minus 2 alone is also a sub array and this one and minus 2 combined is also a sub array but this one and 3 if you will combine one and 3 this is not a sub array but one minus 2 and 3 this is also a sub array so contiguous members of arrays forming uh, you can say a small array is known as sub array so in this question what we need to do find the maximum sum sub array so here first we what we will do we will try to find all the sub arrays that are present we will try to find the sum of all the sub arrays which are present in this particular array and then for each of the sub array we will calculate the sum and then out of those sums we will send the maximum so here maximum sum sub array here is this 3 comma 4 so this will give us 7 so if you will find any other sub array in this uh, array then you will be getting a sum less than 7 only so this is one is also a sub array so one is there then minus 2 is there then 7 is there okay and if we will calculate all these values these values are also constituting to a sub array only so 1 minus 2 3 plus 4 gives us uh, 7 7 8 6 so therefore this maximum sum sub array is 3 comma 4 so we can do this in a o of n operation also that is the cadans algorithm that we need to follow again the actual answer will be given to do you on this link in on the lead code okay so these are very important questions for your prime and digital role in ninja the many times the coding questions are not asked but they can be asked also okay so it's very important okay so guys moving ahead find the element that appears once in an array where oh, sorry find the element that appear once in an array where every other element appears twice so guys this is again a star question that this question was asked in tcs prime interview this year itself okay so let me explain you the question here so we will be having an array 
let's suppose one two three three four four so here every element will be appearing twice except one element this that is two so we have to find this two that is that element that is only appearing once so what approach will we will be using we will be approaching uh, using a zor approach so see one zor one is equal to zero that is zor of two same elements is zero so if we will zor every element of this array okay if we will zor every element of this array so all the uh, elements that are repeating they will cut it uh, they will cut each other so first one zor one will become zero then zero zor two will become two okay zero zor two is two then two zor three zor three is zero again two zor becomes two and then four zor four is zero so again two zor zero becomes four oh sorry two so this is how using the zor operator we will be finding the element that only appear once irrespective of the fact that every other element is twice so zor methodology we will be using here again the links will, for this question you can find in the description box or you can search google also okay moving ahead to the next question find the loop in the linked list and find the middle of the linked list again a very very important question as per the interview is concerned see as i have told you you don't have to write end to end answers but a pseudo code and dry run it's must in the interview as it is face to face so again in a loop and uh, in a linked list so let me just first draw a linked list so this is a linked list and it contains a loop here you can see this is a loop how we'll find the loop in the linked list loop in the linked list we will be using a slow and fast pointer approach so slow again slow will for every iteration slow will move one step ahead so slow is equal to slows next whereas for every iteration fast will move two steps ahead fast is equal to sorry fast next then again next so for every iteration slow is moving one pointer ahead and fast is moving two pointer ahead so there will be a time if there is a loop in a linked list there will be a time when slow is double equivalent to fast so on when this condition is satisfied therefore we can conclude that yes there is loop okay there is loop so similar approach is used for finding the middle of the linked list also so this is the linked list okay this is the linked list slow will go from here slow and fast are starting slow and fast are starting so slow for a one iteration it will go to here whereas fast will go to here for next iteration slow uh, so, uh, fast will go to here and then fast will go to, slow will go to here okay for one iteration fast is here slow is here then uh, uh, sorry fast next next okay next next okay fast is here slow is here so yeah this is how this will be the middle of the linked list okay so i hope this question is clear to you moving ahead reverse a linked list so again a important question for the interview okay so what is a linked list let's suppose 1 2 3 four this is the linked list we have to simply reverse the linked list this is how we can do it see reversing an array is very easy so reversing a linked list it's a bit tricky task i won't be able to explain in this video but again you can go on to this link and check for yourself what is the solution but it is not that easy as compared to arrays okay so moving ahead to the next question implement stack using arrays queue using arrays so again it's a generic question i will not suppose say it is a very important question or it is recently asked but it's a very generic question that can be asked from you okay so this is again the it is again a easy uh, question you can go and directly check the solution for it so you use implement stack using array and implement queue using arrays okay so i hope this thing is clear to you So now moving ahead and before moving ahead, if you have not liked the video till now, please hit that like button and do share this video among your friends also so that they can also prepare and hit the subscribe button for the future videos. Okay, you can book mock interviews with us. That is not an issue. The links you will find in the description box. Moving ahead, find the next greater element. Let me just let me just explain you first this question. So next greater element. So we have an input array one, two, three, four, five. For every element, we need to find the next greater element. So for one, what is the next greater element? It's two. For two, what is the next greater element? It's three. For three, what is the next next greater element? It's four. For four, what is the next greater element? It's five. And for five, what is the next greater element? It's minus one. So this is our output array. So this is our output array. So for this particular approach, we will be using stack data structure. Okay, stack data structure we will be using. Normally, uh, normal loops we also we can also use, but that will give us a complexity of O of n square. 
the interviewer can ask you to uh, lower down optimize your code then you can use the stack data structure it will give you the complexity of big o of n okay so this is the again for getting the exact solution you can refer these links okay Ugh. moving to the next question reverse words in the string so let just write in, uh, let me just write a string that is code bashers okay then if you want to reverse the words in the string so this is the words we need to reverse them so bashers will come first and code will become second so this is input string this is the output string so we are just reverse the words only so bashers was coming at the second last uh, at the last so bashers now become first and code was coming at the first here so it became last here again for the exact code you can visit this link also so guys i hope you found this video helpful this is the part of our one shot videos that we made so we have already made videos on uh, java interview questions dbms interview questions and python interview questions lot of you requested me to make videos for dsa so i have made that now you can also recommend any doubts you have you can write in the comment section any video you want to recommend as that what we should make so that you can get help again you can write in the comment section you will be happy to help but make sure that you write that when is your interview and which profile you are giving the interview for okay so guys that's it for this interview do hit the like and subscribe button and do share this video among your friends Thank you for watching this video.